Eddie. 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 Are you ready for this? <laughs> so yeah, as I said in the last video, I wanted to take up a couple of these uh, foam tiles that I've got on the wall just here. And upon taking them up, I've realized a couple of things. The glue that's on it is, yeah, it's very good glue, yeah. So there's a lot of shit left on the wall. It's in fact taking a little bit of paint off as well there. <sighs> This is making a bigger job for myself. I don't know. I'm almost regretting it already. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys could see in the video there, but there was also some cracks coming down the wall just here, and I've just got some filler, filled that in. Gonna wait for that to dry, sand it, and then repaint it anyway. Which, that means it was not a bad thing then, because I'm gonna have to repaint this bit. I might as well repaint these while I'm here. Yeah. More and more things as we go along. Let's go. Are you ready for this? <laughs> This is the vlog. Logging in. Doggy style. Logging in. Doggy style. Doggy style. Hello guys and welcome back to Eddie's Epic Desk Video Part 2. Day 2, uh, 2018. That order was completely fucked up. Anyway, yeah, so today is the end of day two of uh, Eddie's Epic Desk 2018, uh, part two, I don't know if I mentioned that. And yeah, we've made some real progress this time. As you guys saw in the previous part of this video, uh, I took a whole bunch of these, these tiles off over here and it has scarred the wall there. No. Nope. I am going to replace these tiles. I am going to put them back on the wall. So it's going to be, it's going to be a slightly different position, maybe a bit higher. Most of that is going to get covered up, but, but you guys know me, you guys know how much of an idiot I am. You guys know how much of a perfectionist I am, how much of a loser I am. I'm going to know, I'm going to know that those motherfuckers are back there. I'm going to know that I'm going to be sitting right here editing the latest episode of the Inside Eddie Show. Editing something amazing, something that's going to make you guys cry in laughter and wonder what you ever did in your life without Eddie. And I'm going to be like, oh God, this is such a cool episode of the Inside Eddie. There's some broken stuff behind that tile just there. There's broken, there's broken wall behind that tile. Motherfucker. So I'm gonna have to sand it down and repaint it. That's just me, that's just something that I was mentioning anyway. I didn't realize the glue that was holding on these tiles uh, over here to be so goddamn strong. I picked a good glue when I put it on there. Anyway, uh, anyway, I should say. I haven't done that in such a long time. Uh, so we've got a good foundation of what we've got, um, of a good epic desk going on here. Let me run you through some of the things we got here. So uh, I put down the Audio Engine 2 Plus speakers, the desk speakers. I'll leave a link to everything I mentioned in the comment section so you guys can, sorry not in the comment section, in the description below so you guys can all check out and get all the information that you need from it. Um, I got these also these isolation stands on there. I know that there is a reason for them that it's supposed to isolate the sound from the, the, the table and whatnot but I purely got them just because it could give this really cool like slanted look and whatnot. Also I got this epic sort of a uh, cool looking desk lamp right here it's got like the wood and white effect going on here so it, uh, it matches the entire like desk setup that we've got going on here I did take out the bulb that was that came with the actual lamp to put in one of these cool Philips U light bulbs I have actually got a bunch of Philips U lights in my house but this one this one is a colored one so I can change the color of it from like uh, any color of the spectrum that I want I think that would be really cool when it comes to sort of like uh, say like unboxings and stuff like that or when it comes to any sort of like videos I want to do by the desk I think it's gonna give a really nice sort of like glow to the to the videos and whatnot I think it's a nice little touch anyway I also have this this is probably the best piece that I think I've bought for the entire desk it's this mechanical Mac ASIO keyboard. I'll leave a link in the description again to where I got this from. I actually got it from Amazon, but I'll leave it to the actual manufacturer's page and whatnot so you can see. Um, I'm not a massive, massive mechanical keyboard like fan. Like I couldn't tell you what kind of switches were in here. I'll probably put it on the in the description and whatnot. But I did do a bit of research into this one, and in terms of the sound. Oh my god, and the feel of it, it's all metal, it's got like light up LEDs in the back just here, it's got this like scrolling wheel for the um, for the volume and a hot mute button and whatnot, but the bit, the bit by far, has just got to be, has got to be the sound, oh my god, oh, 
Now tell me that doesn't get you hard. If that doesn't get you hard in the morning, nothing will. Tell your wives, tell your girlfriends, there's no chance because God. Oh. Yeah, that is that is getting me hard right now. Oh shit, sorry, it's pushing the camera up. Uh, fuck. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. I um, just had to readjust myself just there. That was a... Uh, that's... There's no other word for it, orgasmic. I weirded myself out just saying that one. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the video. And uh, the final bit that you've seen here is the Logitech MX Master mouse. Now this thing, as I said, been, uh, as I was saying with like all the other stuff and whatnot, has reviewed very, very well on both YouTube, on Amazon and all that kind of stuff. Everyone's saying it's super comfortable. The amount of buttons are just right and the infinite scrolling wheel on there is really cool. Very, very good. I've tried it out for a little bit and it is actually quite nice and very comfortable. Very good for my sort of style of like video editing and things like that. I do like it. The only damn thing is, is that because I'm going for this whole bamboo and white effect going on here, this theme, sorry, I should say, I had to pay an extra £20, £20 just to have the white one, just to have the white one. Now that, that is pretty goddamn shitty. I know that this isn't like anyone's fault and whatnot. It's just like when something's a little bit more rare, they decide to jack up the prices and whatnot. It, to be fair, then it is probably somebody's fault, whoever decided to hike up the price. But that is really, really shitty. I couldn't even go to the Logitech website to try and find this by itself for the same price as the other ones. The black one was, some, it was worth like 20 pounds less and I was like, God, I don't want to go for black because it will just ruin everything and white looks so good. Anyway, I'm just pissed off and I'm just venting about that. That's just pretty much it. Other than that, that's pretty much everything that we've done here. The only other thing that I want to mention, and this is a problem that I'm going to need to work with you guys about, is this. That. Look at how many cables are back there and look at how disgusting that looks. My God. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I literally plugged in, I haven't even plugged in everything yet. I've still got a hard drive to plug in. I've still got a Elgato to plug in. I've got a switcher to plug in. It's an absolute nightmare. It's already looking like a, a mess. It's already looking like a mess and I wanted to go for something minimalist as well. Um, I do have a couple of ideas, a couple of solutions possibly to this. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys have any other solutions, let me know in the comment section. Um, so right now, as you can see, we've got a couple of cables coming up. We've got one for the keyboard, we've got one for the, the power over there, we've got one for the USB-C hub, we've got one for the 3.5mm uh, jack back here to put, to, for the speakers, we've got one for the speakers back there, one for the power, and one for the to tie into the other uh, speaker just back there. We've got a HDMI cable that goes into a monitor, a power, so many cables, okay? I'm proposing that we drill a hole right here. One for the, the cable, and basically uh, drill a hole for every cable that might be on the table. I know that sounds insane because I just got this table and I'm already destroying it, but I feel like that's going to be the right solution. Once I measure everything out, get everything exactly, pinpoint the perfect spot that I want it to be, then I think, drill a hole like right here, drill a hole just right back there, all these holes will be hidden by hopefully the product that's sitting in front of them. For the t uh, monitor, I'll uh, zip tie the cables to it around here and have just one cable going down the back there. One cable I think I can live with and I can make, make do with that. And also, under here, I was thinking to make some sort of compartment out of the old table that I have because I still have it. I was thinking if I was to cut out a section of it, a section that would fit exactly between these two chest of drawers and then hollow out the inside of it because the table actually is hollow it's just got some strengthening cardboard inside it carve out the inside put the cables there as soon as they come down from the table push them into the hollow part of that compartment then there would be no cables down here and anything that did pop out would sort of pop out around the corner over there and then it would be hidden by the chest of drawers but am i explaining that right i'll put some pictures up on twitter follow me on twitter on at inside eddie and uh and you guys might be able to get a better idea of what I'm talking about. I think that might be a really good idea. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section or if you have any other solutions, let me know. But yeah, as of right now, it's turning out pretty good in my opinion. I do like it a lot. I think it's uh, very comfortable. I've sat at the, I've got the chair and I sat next to it and it feels very, very comfortable. It's a perfect height and it feels very businesslike. It feels very businesslike, not gonna lie. But yeah, that's where we are at the end of day two 
uh, I hope you guys are having fun. I saw all of your comments in the previous videos. Thank you guys for all of the kind words. A lot of you guys saying that I, I look a lot better, which is great to hear. Thank you. I have been trying my best uh, for a while. Um, a lot of people are saying it's great to see me back. It's great to talk to all of you guys. A bunch of you have done a lot of things. Uh, I read one comment from uh, the Cardboard Duck in response to the question I asked what's been happening with you guys. And he wrote, so I went out drinking last night without my girlfriend and came home and pissed the bed. Now you're updated. That is uh, one of the best updates I think I've ever heard on uh, any YouTube channel, any q and I've ever done. In fact, any update to any blog, newsletter, news article ever. I think that's pretty awesome. You've won the award, Cardboard Duck. Thanks a lot, bro. Hope you guys are having a good day. Have a good weekend. Let me know if you guys will watch Infinity War. What do you guys think about also the new Ant-Man movie that's coming up? Just after Infinity War, we got the release date for Ant-Man and Wasp, and it comes out the... 3rd of July in America, but then comes out a month later, a whole month later for European countries. What the fuck? That's incredible. Like, how the hell are we supposed to avoid spoilers for an entire month? The rule, especially when it's something massive like this, is supposed to be like two weeks, and then whoever hasn't watched it then, it's like kind of their fault. That is insane to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, yeah, it's been really awesome to talk to you guys again. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.